have to have a term in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual in order to then call it a disease and treat it as a disease and write a prescription for it. When I went to medical school, there were only six or seven items in the manual. Now there are over 300. I mean, you mean to tell me that there have been 294 diagno diseases discovered in the last 60 years? In, in, mental, in psychiatry alone? It's a joke. It's an epidemic <laughs> of psychiatry that we, have, we are dealing with. We don't have an epidemic of mental illness, we have an epidemic of psychiatry. You eat too much, it's a disease, it's an addiction. You smoke too much, it's a disease. You are too unhappy, it's a disease. You're too thin, it's a disease. You're too fat, it's a disease. You have too little sex, it's a disease. You have too much sex, it's a disease. No free will, it's all chemicals. No self-discipline, no self-control. The chemical imbalance meshes very well with the idea that you give a drug which restores the balance. It's a story, a mythology, a fable, and that's a baseline from which we are operating now in America. The, the, the child doesn't perform the way he should or behaves he should. He is not responsible. Some chemicalists will give him a chemical. You hear day in and day out on television that this is a mental illness and that's a mental illness. And, and, and Zoloft is advertised. Beer you can't advertise, but Zoloft you can advertise. Now this is it's not just psychiatry. It's the whole psychiatrization of the culture. Now what's more toxic, Zoloft or beer? Amen. Case closed. See, the internal contradiction in these very concepts is so total that they don't stand up to any scrutiny. Nobody has yet measured, demonstrated, or created a test to show that somebody has a chemical imbalance in their brain, period. Psychiatrists are getting more and further and further and further away from this human-to-human -human touch. And they are becoming more and more quacks, where they talk and act and impersonate doctors. They talk about diagnoses and treatments and the brain and all this kind of stuff about which they know nothing. Zero. It's not science, it's politics and economics. That's what psychiatry is, politics and economics behavior control. It is not science, it is not medicine. This is so big that it's, it boggles the mind.